What's up, Facebook friends? It's uh, Tony making food moda, and uh, I'm going to make you some food. Huh. Uh, this is another edition of uh, Modified Monday, and what I'm going to make for you today is uh, some uh, French toast. So, in Facebook, it has that on this day notification, and just so happened the other day, I got this on this day notification about uh, one of my friends hit me up in the morning saying, hey, I need to know how to make French toast. And my buddy, he calls me up at like, I don't know, 7 a.m. in the morning. He's like, Tone, Tone. He's like, I need to know how to make French toast. I don't know how to make French toast. I got this girl over. She stayed the night. And I want to cook her breakfast. So I told him what to do. And he did it. And, you know, he made some pretty good French toast, I guess, for his girl. Uh, but this is for you. And... I'm going to make some French toast, I'm going to do some hash browns, I'm going to do some bacon, and then I'm going to do a French, or I'm going to do a fruit salad. I'm going to do a little demo on how to cut some cantaloupe, uh, a pineapple, uh, do some strawberries and things like that. So let's just get right into it, and uh, it's a modified Monday. Alright, so, got my stuff set up. And basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut this cantaloupe and uh, we're going to go from there. So I got my chef knife. Um, I also got some bacon that I'm going to go throw ahead, go ahead and put in the oven. Um, because you can do bacon. You can do bacon in a, in a pan if you want. Uh, but you know, you can also do it in the oven. My oven set at 350 degrees. I got a, a sheet tray, it will probably take about, I don't know, 15, probably 20 minutes. So we'll get that going first and then uh, we'll roll into everything else. So basically what I have here is my cantaloupe. Cantaloupes, uh, you, don't, you want them kind of not too firm, not too soft. You don't really want uh, any bruises on any of this. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is when you cut this guy is you know it's a it's a round, it's a round object so like if I don't want it to be all wobbly and stuff so what I'm going to do is first off I'm just going to uh, take my chef knife and I'm just going to cut cut this guy off right here so boom just like that so now I have a surface and my guy will just stand there just like that so there's a couple different ways that you can cut this you can just cut it straight down and then uh, from there you can just cut it accordingly if you want into slices um, but the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, kinda just take the skin off and I'm gonna try to just do half of it and then I'll do the other half another way but so here I go so I'm gonna try to have my cutting board like close closest to me and so that way I can kinda like get into it with my knife because if my knife is up here, I cannot kind of go all the way around. So I'm going to try to pull the cantaloupe down here. My cutting board is a little bit further, closer to me. And what I'm going to do is my knife, you can see, my knife is going to be, it's going to come off the edge. So, like, so now I'm going to have my hand down here and try to get underneath it. Alright, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this off. Just like that. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna continue to do that all the way around. So again, I'm gonna try to go all the way down. And I'm just gonna try to do half. And I'm really glad that that uh, came up in my news feed the other day, but on this day. And I was like, oh man. He did really did call me up at like seven in the morning, want to know how to French to uh, make French toast to impress a uh, to impress a girl. I was like, oh man, little things that I can do to help out my friends. Okay, so I got half it, half a cut. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is like I would continue to do this all the way around, but for like demo purpose, I'm just gonna cut this half. And this one, this melon, it isn't really that ripe. Um, but I mean it will work so what I'm gonna do is I got half of it peeled half of it is not peeled 
And what I'm going to do is, is just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to cut right down it, right down the middle. Okay, so now I have my two halves. Boom, boom. And uh, what I can do is I can clean this up a little bit. Clean that up just like that. Come back around some of the edges that I missed. Oh, what's, what's going on? What's up, bro? How you doing? Cat, Kelly, Mike, what's up? All right. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply just take a spoon and dig out all these guts. Now I can do it over, over a bowl. You know, and I can just, I'm just going to take, I'm going to hold it. Now when I hold it, I can just grab my spoon just like, just like this. You know, but like what I like to do is I like to take my thumb and put it right up in there just like that. And it kind of gets me a little bit more, um, a little bit more guide and a little bit more control instead of just trying to scoop it up. So, I'm just going to get all the seeds out of there. I can smell that bacon cooking. It smells pretty good. All right, so I just want to get all those seeds out of there. I'm going to do that to this other half over here. Same thing. Get the seeds all up out of there. We don't want none of that. Okay. That's all good. So, now what I'm going to do is... What's up, Marty? So now, what I can do is, I can take this, and I can, I'll cut it again. Um, so I can cut it this way, and when I cut it, you know, I, just like that. So it's just like as I was like cutting the, as I demonstrated uh, the onion before, uh, you know, I'm just going to follow, I'm just going to follow the roundness of this, and I'm going to take my knife, and I'm just going to kind of move it up. So as I cut, like, I'm just going to move my knife, you know, from, uh, from here, this angle, and I'm just going to come around, and I'm going to cut around all the way like this, and just follow the curve of the cantaloupe. All right, so then I'm just gonna keep on coming around. I just something like that. So now I just have this, and then I can go ahead and dice it if I want. So I can take it, I can dice it. I have my dice cantaloupe. You know, so that's that. If y'all can see that. That's my dice cantaloupe. So I can do something else. I could. uh take it and I could just cut it cut the ends off a little bit and I could just kind of just slice it just like that too but I'm gonna leave it together and then I could I could like if I wanted to I could like display it a little bit I could take my knife and I could kind of curve it a little bit and then it will be in a straight line. So if I was doing like a, a fruit plate, I'll show y'all. So like if I was like doing like a fruit plate or something, I could have something like this. And that was just naturally just keeping the uh, naturally just keeping the uh, the grapefruit together as I cut it. So as you can see from above, so I have, I have that, you know. So that's that's kind of cool. And that was all I did was just simply just cut it. But then I took my knife and I kind of just turned it just like that. Uh, so, I mean, there's different different things that you could do. I mean, I'm not the best Darmage cook. I mean, I know a little bit of things, but I don't know them all. But, I mean, these little simple tricks that you can do, you can kind of just, you know, make your uh, plating go a little bit better. So I can take this, and I can use my knife as a tool. So just like that, boom. I got a plate over here. I can just plate it on this plate. Just like this, and uh, and that's that. And if I'm presenting this to a uh, female that you know in the morning, like, hey, look at this fancy, fancy stuff that I did with this uh, cantaloupe. 
And uh, we'll get into the, the pineapple too. All right. Bacon's getting crispy. I'm gonna flip it over. What's up, Vic? Oh yeah? Cooking class downtown Dearborn, huh? Or Northville? I did some stuff stuff with Shelly, uh, not last year. Uh cooking class for uh I think it was uh cooking class for troubled uh teens. It was pretty cool. Alright, so next up. Let me wipe off my board real quick. What's up, Rick? <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> it's home cooking, Rick. I'm all right. Can't wait to get you back uh, back in the kitchen. All right, so now let's, let's conquer this thing. Sometimes people get a little intimidated uh, by things like this. So there's a pineapple. So, same thing with the pineapple. It's you know, it's it's round. Like you know, I, I want it to be steady when I cut it. So, what I'm gonna do? The same thing as what I did with my cantaloupe. Is I'm just gonna cut it. Okay. Cut that off just like that. Okay. So now, boom. Now I have I have this to. Uh, you know, for it to stand up on. But I'm also going to take this guy off. I'm going to take the top off. Just going to take the tip off just a little bit. Okay? Just like that. So now, like, if I was maybe doing some sort of, like, uh, a fruit display or something like that, I could take this guy, set it down in the middle of the, not in the middle of the table, but, you know, in, like, a little fruit display, a platter, and I can have this as some sort of, like, uh, elevation for the platter. So you could do that. Make a... I don't know, put a, make a hat out of it. I don't know. Um, Alright, so same, same thing. Same thing as I did with the uh, cantaloupe. I'm just going to do uh, the same thing. I'm going to cut it, take my knife, and I'm just going to cut it around. And uh, how do you know if it's a good pineapple? Well, it's got to be a little squishy, but not too squishy. And uh, this one is kind of, it's not as ripe as it should be but uh I was kind of in a hurry and uh you know Myers really didn't have that good of the produce I didn't feel like running around to 10 different stores what's up Otto all right so now what I'm gonna do is I cut this end off right here I cut this end off right here okay and um now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it just like what I did <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do just like <laughs> Rick, you need to stop. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it just like I did the cantaloupe. I'm going to bring my cutting board all the way to me. So, you know, so I'm going to have uh, a little bit so I can like carve it underneath there. All right. So here we go. So I'm just going to cut it. You know, just like that. Get my scrap bowl back over here. Okay. So... I want to go in, you know, obviously I want to get all this stuff out, but I want to, I want to go around. You know, and I'm just going to go all the way around this guy. Yeah, this pineapple really isn't that good, but... Considering where I got it from, I guess it was probably the best one, huh? Oh, no. All right. So I'm just going to continue to cut around it. And, like, things that, things that, like, like, fruits, vegetables, things that you get. What's up, Chef Matt? Things that you get, uh, you have a lot of, like, uh, food waste. You know, so as you see, like a lot of the pineapple, we're gonna be throwing away. Uh, you know, because you're gonna, you gotta trim it up, cut it up, up, right? So, I mean, you gotta take all this into into consideration when you're planning out your menus and factoring in your food costs. Like, what's the uh, percentage of waste that you're getting, like per pineapple? You know, like uh, something like. 
Yeah, something like a pineapple has a rind, you gotta cut it off, you can't eat that, it's, you know, non-edible non waste. Uh, you gotta, like, factor that into your food cost whenever you're pricing out menus and doing things like that. So, again, I'm just going around, trying to get, I'm trying to stay as close as I can to, uh, to the rim, or to the edge, to the peel, so that I don't really waste that much. So, alright. So I got pretty much almost all of it. Almost all of it. There's a couple little little guys here and there. So what I'm going to do next is kind of what I did with the cantaloupe. Is I'm just going to cut it straight down the middle. So... So I'll cut it uh, straight down to me. So I'm going to cut it straight down. Just like that. I'm going to cut it down. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. So now there's a couple of different ways that you can decor this. Because uh, there is this core that's in there. I want to burn my bacon. All right, so uh, I don't know if they took food cost into the accounts at Albert's, but I know Chef Darren was pretty good at costing out the menu. I don't know about that Steve guy. He was kind of a uh, I don't know about that guy. All right, so now we have this we have this um, core right here that is not edible. You know, so this is part of the food waste. Uh, so this part right here is not edible. Um, so what you could do is, you could take it and you can cut it in this way, like a wedge, and cut that out, you know, or we could do kind of like what we did with the, with the uh, cantaloupe a little bit, and uh, I could just cut it, and I'm just going to follow the, the natural shape of the pineapple, you know, I mean, you know, some of these things you just got to do. So again, I'm going to follow the natural shape of the pineapple. Okay, and what I can do is, instead of like cutting a wedge into the core, now it makes it a little bit easier, because I know that the core is right there, oops, it's a little slippery, so I can just cut the core off and I can just take my knife, just like that, and there you go, that's, that's, that's your pineapple that you get after all that, uh, after all that work. Alright. What's up, Heather? How you doing? Alright, uh, so same thing. I'm just going to continue to cut the core out the pineapple. And what I could do is I could take this guy, right? And then, you know, I got my... I just cut it into... Uh, you know, just large dice. I put that in. I can put that in with my uh, my little fruit uh, fruit salad that I'm making. You know. Um. So, or I could take it and do exactly what I did. Yeah, it's very slippery there, Otto. I can do exactly what I did with the uh, with the cantaloupe. I'm gonna cut it. Okay, and I'm gonna try to leave it this piece intact and what I can do is I can turn it take my knife and I can turn it and um, it will kind of move with the uh, it will stay together and what you can do is alright so now alright now I have this right here so again same with what the pineapple was or not the pineapple the cantaloupe so now I have this line, just like this. All right, you can see it. So just like that, and that's what I'm building. I'm building my uh, my I'm building my fruit plate 
You know, so I mean, that's, that's kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. Take my knife, use it, just like that. Boom. All right. It's been, it's been modified. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this over here on my plate. Put this on. I'm, I'm designing a little fruit plate over here. I'll show you all when, I, when I'm done. You're going to be like, whoa, that fruit plate was modified. <laughs> so, all right, I'm just going to um, finish this off right here. And then I got uh, a couple more things that I'm going to uh, cut up. And then we'll just go right into the cooking. Co the cooking uh, aspect will be super, super fast, super, super fast, super easy. That's why I was like, so surprised when my buddy called me up and said, hey, how do you make French toast? All right. Oh yeah. What's up, Steve? That's pineapple. All right. So next up, uh, what I got is next up. What I got is I'm just, I just got some uh, strawberries. Okay. Super easy. Let me clean off my board real quick. It's all sticky, all juicy, you know. So I got a sandy bucket down here. And uh, usually I keep one on hand, even like, even when I cook at home. Uh, and it's just a little bit of bleach, a little bit of uh, warm water. It doesn't, I don't want hot, hot water. You know, I just want probably just uh, like lukewarm, lukewarm water. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cook up. Now I'm gonna just cut up this simple, simple strawberry. But I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna uh, kind of fan it out. So what I can do is maybe if I was like doing some sort of like uh, garnish for a plate or something like that, I would take it. I would take the strawberry, okay, and then I'm, I would just cut it. But I would kind of just slice it very thinly uh, on a bias. But I wouldn't go all the way in. I would just kind of go all the way to the edge, okay? So now I have this. I don't know if you can see it. I have it cut, all right? See? So now what I could do is I could just spread it, okay? So I can press down on it, and it will give me a cool little effect, which is kind of cool. You know, it got like a little garnish. So um, I don't know if I can show you all that. So that's... See that? Yep. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You know, I mean, I just cut it and, you know, I got this little, like, flower type thing going on. I mean, I'm going to put that over here on my fruit plate. Alright, so now I'm, I'm going to take this. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to take this. So now look. See, look at that. It's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. Kind of cool. Put that on, put that on, uh something okay so I'm gonna do that again again oh, what's up Melissa I seen some of your cakes the, the cakes the other day on the Facebook and uh, I was really really impressed with them so when I uh, when I do these uh, strawberry tomatoes I don't want small ones the one that I'm gonna fan out I don't want the small ones this one's a little small this one's a little bit bigger I want the bigger ones uh, so that gives me a little bit more uh, room uh, or I guess a little bit of room for error so what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to cut it. But I'm not going to go all the way to the end. You know, I'm going to just go cut it on a bias. And then, okay, so it's cut, right? Cut. See that? And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of just push down on it. And it will create like a little fan effect. And uh, we, can leave the, we can leave the stem on. And we get that, we get that again. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't, oh, what's up, Scotty? Scotty, can I get some of those things? So that's that. Uh, when, I mean, and then if you're just going to simply just, uh, you know, dice up uh, a strawberry, just cut it, cut the tip off, and then cut it just like something like that. And uh, you have, you know, you have your strawberries. Super simple. I just wanted to show you all that little fan trick with the strawberries. That's a little cool. These little these little tips there, these little tricks that you can do. You know? 
I do them in the restaurant, you know, a lot. Uh, you know, I do them in the restaurant. But, I mean, you can do them at home. I mean, why not? All right? So that's going to go into my fruit salad. One more. What's up, Del? You got to get on some uh, some YouTube live stuff. Or not some YouTube, some Facebook live stuff and uh, start doing some cocktail mixing. So now I just have regular, uh, regular grapes and I'm just going to throw those on there. Remember, we don't want to wash these right uh, until we're about to uh, consume them because they have this uh, white... Uh, uh, white like uh, surface on them and that's called the bloom and that protects the grape so when you store them like when you first get them in, in from the grocery store don't wash them keep this on there because it'll hold all the moisture in um, so just do it like wash them like right before you use them if you wash them right away then they'll just go bad because it protects it you know what I mean so I'm just going to give these a little wash and then uh and then I'm good, to, I'm good to go. I got a pretty good fruit plate over here uh, kicking. It's pretty sweet. I'll show you all here uh, when I'm about to, when I uh, eat the rest of the food. So yeah, that's that. That's that's a little bit of demonstration on how to cut some uh, different, different uh, fruits. You know, people get intimidated by things like the pineapple, you know, or the grapefruit, you know, but like, uh, with the grapefruit, like, you know, I cut half it and did all that fancy stuff with it, you don't even have to do that, you just cut it in half, take the spoon, get that lot of stuff out, and then you can either, you go this way, you know, cut it this way, and you get your chunks like this, but I wouldn't really recommend going that way, or you can just cut it the other way, follow it around, you'll get better, better slices, leave that on, you know, Actually, this one isn't really that bad. All right, now let's get into the French toast. Seems like I might have had to like uh, go to France to maybe uh, get this toast that's taking so long. All right, so I gotta get some of this red bologna though first. Oh yeah, that's where it's at. All right, so on to the next. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make uh, some French toast, French toast, hash browns, and I got that bacon that's already cooked. I'm just going to heat it back up. What's up, Mark? All right. Uh, so let's see. First off, what I did uh, before I started before I started uh, cooking to prepare for the uh, modified Monday show, um, I took this baked potato, this baked potato that I had. And what I did was I wrapped it in foil and put it in the oven. Put it in the oven, 350 degrees, and uh, I cooked it for about 45 minutes. That's going to kind of start the cooking process. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a, uh, I'm going to get a, uh, not a mandolin, just a box grater. And this is what I'm going to do to cut, do my hash browns. So, so just like that. I'm not gonna peel it, I'm just going rustic, I don't care. You know, and I'm just gonna peel this guy. Just like that. And that's gonna get me my uh, my hash browns. And that's gonna and that's gonna give me that. I don't know why I have the stupid attachment on here. So that's that's that. That's the hash browns. I'm gonna just go ahead and do the whole thing, and uh, and the reason for cooking uh, the potato first is it just you just get a better you just get a better hash brown. It just cooks better, it's more softer. It's way better. I just cook it. All right. So so this is like. You know, if you're uh, if you stay at your mom's house or whatever, and uh, she had uh, cooked baked potatoes, you know, for uh, you know dinner the day before, 
you snuck a girl into your room and you're trying to make her breakfast and you're like, oh, look in the fridge and you're like, man, I got eggs. I got a big uh, leftover baked potato. Well, get a little fancy, shred it up, and make uh, make some hash browns. <laughs> you know why not? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I got my pan right here, and uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna heat it up. So this is just uh, this is the regular non-stick pan. Okay. All right, so I got my hash browns ready to go. Put these in here. Clean up my work area. A little bit of butter in the pan. Okay. I always try to keep. I always try to keep uh, uh, room temperature butter when I'm cooking. This makes it a little bit easier. All right. A little bit of butter in there. And that's going to be for my hash browns. There you go. A little bit of, uh, season that. A little bit of uh, granulated garlic. Let's, uh, put some pepper in there. Why not? Uh, a little bit of salt. That's that. So now what I'm looking for is I want to get my pan kind of hot. So what I could do is I can get like a nice, uh, so I try to get like a nice sear on my uh, onto my hash browns. All right. So I used I got a little bit too much butter in there, but it's hot. It's heating up. Clean this up real quick. Okay. So now got my hash browns ready. To go seasoned up, you know, just gonna drop them right here in the pan. And I'm gonna make like little, uh, try to make like little, uh, I'm gonna try to make like little pancakes, if you will. And, uh, so that way when I present them and I plate them, like, it'll, they'll be kind of cool. It'll be like little, little, uh, little brown hash browns. Kind of cool. It's like all these little things that you do. Really got to get this uh, stove fixed. All right. So what I'm gonna do is pan's heating up. Pan's kind of hot. It's right in there. Uh, I think I can make three of them out of there. See which one turns out the best. I don't know. See what happens. Just cooking for me and Buddy Cat. <laughs> Man, how come Buddy Cat's so fat? Well, he's the official taste test. He's the official taste tester for Modified Monday. That's why he's so fat. All right. So, I'm going to cook these guys. These are going to take a minute. And, I want to show you all this, but last time I took my pan over the saute, uh, or took my phone over the, the saute pan and kind of uh, overheat it, and then I had to um, put it in the freezer. <laughs> Alright, so, see if I can get this done. Alright, so I got uh, I got these three right here. So these are my hash browns. I got three little pancakes, and I'm gonna get them. Uh, I'm gonna brown them on each side, and I'm gonna flip them, and then that's gonna be my uh, my hash browns or uh, uh, yeah, my hash browns. All right. 
So this is all going to be on my YouTube channel too. I just started a YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, we're trying that. Um, I'm going to be on uh, Cooking with the Terry Twist uh, August. August 8th we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a show for her food blog and then uh, and then uh, she's gonna put it it's gonna be like a tailgate special or something like that and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna I'm gonna showcase my chili that I do for the Garden City downtown Garden City Chili Cookout you know the so annual downtown Garden City Chili Cookout and uh, that's October 8th. So, but I'm gonna do my uh, uh, my recipe for a food blogger cooking with a Terry Twist. Uh, she's been coming into Kachina for a little while now. Uh, she's pretty cool. She got a nice little blog there. All right, so this this guy's cooking. I got this cooking. So now we gotta we gotta travel to France to get this French toast. All right. So basically, like with the French toast, what I got here is I'm gonna switch. I got this pan, this is just a flat iron, or not iron, but it's a flat skillet. You know, it's the flat skillet, and uh, this one's just a, a cheap one that I picked up. And what that's just what you need. You could do it, you could buy one, like one of those skills that go on the long one, it go right here, but I mean, this is all you really need. So, so basically, French toast, all you need is your egg, okay. Do a couple eggs. That. That's still, that's looking beautiful over here. Uh, I'm gonna do three eggs. Why not? Okay, three eggs. This is a non-stick pan, by the way. So, uh, three eggs, and I'm gonna take my uh, piano whisk. Uh, piano whisk or uh, small whisk. Uh, it's got smaller, uh, like a sp smaller metal parts in it, so you can like kind of incorporate a little bit more air into your eggs. So, I mean, if you want a fluffy, fluffy omelet or fluffy eggs, you get yourself a piano whisk and you whisk in all that air. So that's that. That's that. Check on these guys over here. Really try, I'm really trying to keep them together. I should have just put two in the pan. There goes Chef Tony overcrowding the pan again. Oh man. Alright, so that's that. Um, I got a little bit of vanilla. Put a little bit of vanilla in there. Not too much, just a little bit. Um, I got a little bit of cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon in there. And uh, I'm feeling froggy, so I'm going to throw some nutmeg in there. That's that. Alright. Mix all that stuff together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's that. That's all set, ready to go. And you want to use, I mean, you could use your uh, regular old, regular old bread that you have at your house, or you can just pick up some uh, Texas-style toast from the good old Kroger's or Myers. It's a little bit wider, you know, a little bit thicker. Give that extra little touch for your uh, for your French toast. Oh yeah! Woo These hash browns definitely been modified. Oh yeah. You got a nice golden brown. Um, I could throw these. I could throw like if I put like some stuff in there, like some onions and stuff, and keep around a uh, circle. You know, I'd call them uh, roasty potatoes. You know. So I'm gonna throw a little bit more butter into this pan, just a little bit more, oh yeah, woo -hoo -hoo. oh this reminds me of butter, so I didn't pick up any uh, 
powdered sugar because I really didn't see any the point of picking up powdered sugar for you know a whole like three pound bag of powdered sugar for my uh, for this cooking demonstration. So what I got, which you kind of like amp it up just a little bit, instead of having the powdered sugar to go on top of your French toast, what you could do is you could take a little bit of brown sugar, okay, and you can mix that brown sugar into a little bit of butter, and uh, you get a you get a uh, brown sugar butter, and you put that right on top of your French toast, and bam, you get some more modifications. All these little things, all these little things, lead up to one big thing, and it's then you're like, oh man, put all that in there, boom. All right, those are almost done. French toast takes really super, super, super fast, super, super, super fast, super easy. All right, so that's that. Boom, got that. Brown sugar, butter, oh, you know what? Let's put a little bit of cinnamon in there. Why not? Why not? Because I can. Because I'm Tony making food mata. I can do what I want. That's right. All right. So that's that. If you guys come over here, woo! All right, we're cooking. There we go. Look at these beautiful things. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at those hash browns. Boom! Okay. All right. Now, let's go here. Let's get on with the French toast. Okay. So, now with your French toast, you want a, uh, you want to have a big enough vessel for your, for your, uh, bread. You know, because you want to be able to coat all of your bread into it. Alright, so that's hot. Okay. What up, Mike Walls? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tony making food mata. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Texas-style toast just right in here, and I'm just going to... What I'm just going to do is I'm going to dip it into this into this lovely egg mixture. And that's all I'm going to do. And, uh... You know, that's, that's it. That's all it is for French toast. So, when my man called me up at 7 in the morning saying, hey... Chef, I need to know how to make French toast. I was like, dude, why are you bothering me? But you inspired me. You inspired me for this uh, Facebook Live. I don't want to say his name, but he knows who he is. I sent him a Snapchat and a text message earlier. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he got it. <laughs> so that's that. French toast working. I got my beautiful, man, when you guys see this fruit plate, and you'd be like, damn, that fruit plate was modified. All right, so, hash browns. Woo! Let's turn this up a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. So that's going, that's going. Now what I want to do while I want to cook this is, uh, yeah, the brown sugar, uh, Jeff, the brown sugar butter. Yeah, that's good. I got that one from, uh, uh, what was it, Ironwood out in Plymouth. Uh, when my, uh, that, uh, my friend Annie, uh, when, she, you know, she used to work, work over there, and they would do a, uh, sweet potato fry, sweet potato fry with the brown sugar, uh, butter, and, uh, they were, they were, it was a beautiful thing over there. Oh, man, but I'm getting modified from the Red Bull. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is, all I'm doing is I'm just cooking this. And what we want to do is we just want a nice brown, a brown uh, on the on the toast, on the French toast. Oh, uh, Mike, you missed it, man. I was just talking about the chili cook-off. I'm ready. You ain't gonna win. Me and Tom, the dynamic duo, Tony and Tom, with the uh, gluten-free Southwest black bean chili. We're gonna win this year. We got third place last year. We're gonna get. First place this year, none of us. We got a trick up our sleeve. Just letting you know. All right. So now we're, these are nice. Should be nice and brown. Woo! I love it so bad, but she treats me like shit. All right. 
Oh, yeah. Penitentiary. All right, now I'm thinking about plating. Got some sublime. I got my plate ready. I got my bacon. Woo, it's crispy. So usually when you get bacon, I mean, you can cook it in the oven. I would just cook it in the oven. If you cook it on a pan, you got all that grease splashing back up at you. If you're cooking naked or you don't have, uh, you know, an apron on, you can ruin your clothes. You can burn something you don't want to burn. So what you're going to do with the bacon after it, after it uh, comes out, you're going to put it on a sheet of, uh, just on a, on a napkin. Modified by Red Bull, huh? All right, so so here I got this, and this is just gonna uh, soak up all the grease. You know, you won't have a greasy. What's up, Vic? Oh uh, yeah. So now, whew, those guys are done. All right, so now it's like it's go time. You know, let's uh, let's plate this bad boy. You know, let's plate this bad boy and go to town. Okay. Most definitely, I'm ready. I'm oh, I gotta cut it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so got my friend. They got my French toast. Took me so long uh, for this old video to get to go to France to get to get this toast. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna cut it straight down, just like that. There's that. I'm gonna go gluten-free chili. What is that? That's not chili. Yeah, gluten-free, man. I pull. I got that trick from uh, Chef Darren. So. All right, now let's plate. Let's plate this bad boy. All right. So, uh, things that I'm gonna do. I'm thinking about some sort of elevation or something. I mean, I mean, it's simple as it's simple as French toast. I could fan it out. A couple different things. I could fan it out, just like that. You know, and I could put my bacon over here. My bacon over here. You know, potatoes. We'll just do that. You know, something like that. Something simple. Why not? You know, or uh, you can put the potatoes underneath it and uh, build a little bit of elevation on it and just still stack it. It's all sorts of little things that you could do. Okay, so that's that's that. We'll just leave it. Just like that, and then I'll take my. Oh yeah, and this uh, this butter is ready to go. Let's take that, put that on top. I would do, like I said, like I would do a. Uh, I would do powdered sugar, but I wasn't gonna pay, you know, all that money for a little bit of powdered sugar. Oh, sh oh, you know what I could do? Oh yeah. Now we're getting fancy up in here. So what I'm doing here is things that you can do. So I take these two spoons, right? And then I just kind of just move them just like this. And I get this nice little uh, quenelle of uh, butter, you know? It's kind of a little, little fancy, fancy thing you could do. All these little things. Put that right there, okay? Again, so this would be really, really cool. You know, you woke up in the morning, you had somebody special stay the night. You're like, hey, babe, you know, I, uh, I'm going to make you something. Or you just surprise her. And then you make something beautiful. Okay, let's go over here to the table, the plating table. What's up, Spence? You all right? All right, so uh, let's just go over here, right over here to the plating table. Uh, let me grab this. All right. So that was pretty. I was, I was, I was expecting it to be a little bit more uh, faster than what it was, but uh, it was what it was. I got caught up in the mix. I was, I was enjoying the modifications. I was like, oh man, 
I'm modifying the hell out of this food. All right, so uh, let me turn this over here. So now, uh, this is my fruit plate that I made. See that? That's kind of cool. You know, and that was the uh, strawberries that I kind of fanned out. And this was the, uh, the cantaloupes that I made right there. Uh, you know, and that's the pineapples that I kind of just kept together. You know, that's all that. And then I just, I just sprinkled the, uh, the grapes just right on it. But, you know, that, that's cool. That's a cool touch right there. Cool touch right there. There isn't really any eleva elevation right there. But, I mean, it is what it is. That's a nice little fruit plate. That adds a little bit of a touch. You know, what's up, Carol? What's up, Mike? All right, so then I got my, uh, I got my, uh, French toast. Traveled all the way to France to get this. Okay, so we got our Texas toast, French toast right there. We got our brown sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon butter. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. We got our crispy bacon right here. We got our hash browns right here, perfectly cooked hash browns. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. And uh, while I enjoy this meal, maybe, uh, maybe I'll look over this newspaper. Oh, what's that? Is that the Cucina in the newspaper? What? I don't know. When did that get in there? Maybe last Thursday? I don't know. Might uh, have some uh, menu items or might be a review about the topics menu that we got going on there at the Cucina. And, and uh, oh, I don't really know. There might be my name in there. Oh, man. Hey, Mom, look. I got my name in the paper. Look at that. Excellent Chef Joel. It's actually, uh, you know, it's a lot of teamwork there in the Pacino, but that's pretty cool. So I'm going to read this review. We got a four-star review from Ali Abraham. Ha! Ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to eat this, and that's that. Um, I hope you all had fun on this Modified Monday. Sorry that I wasn't able to get back to you last Monday. Uh, as you all know, or some of you know, I bought a house downtown. I've been trying to fix it up. Um, crazy busy with all the stuff that's going on. Uh, so sorry about last week. I tried to make this one a little bit shorter, but I really couldn't. I was just getting really excited about that garbage fruit plate. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for Modified Monday. So if you like what you see, you need to, or if you want to, you should like, share, repost this. Uh, go on to my YouTube channel, TMFM1000. Uh, find that YouTube channel. I'll put that link up in my, my, uh, in, my in this link. I'll put it in the comments. And y'all can look, uh, subscribe, follow, share my YouTube channel that I'm starting up. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching uh, on another Modified Monday, and y'all have a blessed evening. All right, night. That's it.